On paper, the MC-21 looks quite formidable. The passengers may like the additional cabin diameter of about five more inches, allowing some more room in the aisle. Urkut has also pressurized the cabin at 6,000 feet, slightly lower than the cabin pressure in the 737 and the A320. Uh, for airlines, the fuel efficiency of the MC-21 should be pretty good with Pratt Whitney state-of-the-art PW1400G geared turbofan engines and a highly efficient, lightweight composite wing. But the program does have several challenges, not the least of which is the continued domination of the single aisle market by Airbus and Boeing. For the MC-21 to have a chance of being competitive, it can't just be good, it has to be very good. And Urkut has to execute the program on time. Another problem facing the program is politics. The Russian Federation has set a national policy to substitute Russian technology for Western suppliers on all manufactured goods. And Urkut so far has successfully resisted a broad application of that import substitution policy on the MC-21 program. And Urkut is focused on certificating the MC-21 as soon as possible with the suppliers already on board so that they can deliver the first MC-21-300 to launch customer Aeroflot as scheduled right now at the end of 2018.